Hello. Right, well, I'm going to talk about mixed numbers and improper fractions, because I find these do cause some degree of confusion. So firstly, what is a mixed number? Let's talk about what a mixed number is. A mixed number, for example, could be two, big two, and three fifths. It's mixed because you have the two, the big two, and you have the three fifths, which is a fraction. Other examples, let's think of some other examples, three and two thirds, or perhaps one, big one, and three quarters. So um, to understand these mixed numbers, what I find uh, is to find a good way um, to visualize them. Now, I like with these numbers, we've got the big two. I like to think of these numbers, ones or just ordinary numbers, as pizzas. So two means two pizzas. I mean, you could choose cookies, you could choose cakes, you know, whatever, whatever um, you like eating. But I think it helps if they're a circle. You know, that helps when we're thinking about the fraction part, which is here. So I think what would be useful at this stage is really to go over fractions, to make sure we sort of understand fractions first, using the pizzas, the pizza method. So for example, if we've got a pizza and we chop it in half, now if you're going to write that as a fraction, there are two pieces now. So we chopped it in half, we chopped it into two pieces. So two got, goes on the bottom. And the bottom has a posh name, which is the denominator. Now, if we eat or put on a plate or whatever, or shade one half, then that half we're talking about, the one, goes on the top because we shaded one half. So the one goes on the top, doesn't it? And the top of the fraction is called the numerator. Lovely. So that's a half. Now, if, let's just take, chop it into pizza into a half again. So we know our fraction is going to have two on the bottom, isn't it? Because we've chopped it into half two pieces by chopping into a half. Now let's say we eat or shade both halves. Then the two will go on the top. So that's two halves of a pizza. We could also call it one big one pizza, couldn't we? So it's two halves but it's from one pizza, it's one pizza, so we call it one pizza. So let's just do that with some other fractions, shall we? So for example, we could take our pizza, and this time I'm going to chop it into three bits. So that's thirds. So in the denominator at the bottom of the fraction goes a three. Now let's say we shade one third. So we're talking about just that piece. The one would go on the top. If we have our pizza and we chop it into three bits again. And so the three will go on the bottom, won't it? Yeah. And let's say we shade two pieces. We're talking about two of those thirds. It will be on the top, two thirds. Now, if we're talking about, we chop it into three again. There's our fraction. So there's three on the bottom. But now we'll just shade all three thirds, the whole thing. Then a three goes on the top. 
So that's three thirds of the pizza, but we've shaded a whole pizza or we've eaten a whole pizza. That three thirds is the same as saying one pizza or one. Does that make sense? Likewise, let's just do it with quarters. Why not? We could chop our pizza into quarters. So when we do our fraction, what goes on the bottom? Four goes on the bottom. If you shade one, well, that's going to be one quarter, isn't it? Then if we shade... I don't know. Let's say fours on the bottom is going to be chopped into four. Let's just say we shade three of the pe pizza slices, the quarters. Then three will go on the top, won't it? But what happens if... Oopsie, daisy. What happens if we shade... We chop it into four, as we did before. Then we shade all four pieces. Okay, so then four will go on the top as we shaded all four. But again, there's four slices, but that's still one pizza. Now let's do it with fifths. I can't say it with fifths. So now we're going to have our pizza here. And I'm not sure I can do this without making it messy, but never mind, you get the idea. We've chopped it into five slices now. So if we shade one, that's going to be one fifth. But then if we chop it into five slices again, and then there's five on the bottom because you chopped it into five. Let's say we eat or shade all five pieces five over five that's going to be again one whole pizza do you see so actually if you have a fraction and you have the same number on the top and on the bottom two halves three thirds four quarters or five fifths that's still one pizza you know we've eaten a different number of slices but we've still eaten a whole pizza you could chop it into a million pieces if you really wanted to you were very bored and wanted to spend your time doing that if you ate all million pieces of the pizza you'd still be eating one pizza Okie dokie. So let's see if we can apply this to, we've got plenty of space, haven't we? So let's just get rid of all that. Our mixed number. So let's take, to start with, we'll take two and three fifths. Now the two, the big two, we've already said it's going to be two pizzas. And a three-fifths is a fraction. And we've already discussed that one, two, three. That's going to be one, two, three. Not very neat shading, but you get the idea, don't you? So that's a three-fifths bit there. Now, we could think of these two pizzas as just two pizzas. But because we're thinking about fifths, We could chop them into fifths because the denominator of the fraction is five. So we're thinking about fifths. So we could think of them as two pizzas, but we could also think of them as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fifths. Because that one pizza we said is five fifths. That's five fifths. That's three fifths. So in total, two and three fifths is going to be 13 fifths. Does that make sense? I do hope. Let's do another one, shall we? So let's say 
this time, oh, let's take one and three quarters, shall we? One and three quarters. Okay, well, one is going to be one pizza, isn't it? And three quarters is going to be not very neat, but you still get the idea. Three quarters of a pizza. You see, that's a three quarters bit and that's a one. So now we're talking about quarters, so let's chop our one pizza into four. <clears throat> so we've got four quarters. We could think of it as one and three quarters, or we could think of it as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven quarters, can't we? Just see. So I think visualizing this with pizzas or chocolate cake or cheesecake or whatever you happen to like eating at circular, I think is an extremely good idea. So let's just take another one. Because with maths, you see, I think it's good to do as many questions as possible. It's like piano or hockey or football or anything you want to get good at, you exercise, you practice. Now the two thirds bit, let's put a circle around it for a bit of fun. Um, the two thirds is going to be like that, two thirds. Now we've got a three there. So three is going to be three pizzas, isn't it? One, two, three pizzas. So we could think of those as three, or because we're talking about thirds, we could chop them into thirds, can't we? We could think about those three as three pizzas, or we could think of them as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven thirds. Do you see? Now there is a trick. There is a trick. The problem I find with the trick is it's useful, it's nice to know, but it's good to understand. If you understand what mixed numbers are, then that's great, you can use the trick. But I wouldn't use a trick without understanding. That's the problem with tricks. So for example, I'll show you the trick. Two and three fifths. What you can do is multiply the five in the denominator of the fraction, the five times the big two times. And then to that, you add the three. So some people see this as a big C coming around like that. Five times two, add the numerator, three. Add three over five. Well, five times two is 10. Add three is 13 fifths. So you can do it like that. And similarly with the other ones that we had a look at. Well, with this one, four times one is four. Add three. There's a time zone, there's an add up there. Over four is going to be four times one is four. Add three is seven, seven quarters. Let's do one more just to sh show you this. So, <clears throat> which one haven't we done yet? Oh, we haven't done three and two thirds, have we? So similarly, we do three times three, which is nine, isn't it? Plus two, which is 11. Three times three, nine, 10, 11 thirds. Just see, so that's the trick. But I would say, think about your pizzas until you understand it, and then you can use the trick. But you've got to eat all your pizza first. Ha, ha, ha. So, um, so now, the other thing you have to do, that's turning mixed numbers into improper fractions. But now we're going to do turning improper fractions into mixed numbers. 
So for example, 17 fifths. Now an improper fraction, it's improper because the number on the top is bigger than the number on the bottom, which means it's greater than one. It's more than one pizza. Okay, that's the definition. Top heavy fraction is an improper fraction. Done in my best copper plate. Now, I think a very good way, again, of thinking about this is, guess what, with pizzas. You know, so 17 fifths. Well, one pizza is going to be five fifths. Two pizzas is going to be ten fifths. Three pizzas is going to be 15 fifths. Oh, so we're up to 15 fifths, haven't we? So 15, 16, 17, we're going to have to have another two fifths. We'll just do them on their own. So this could be 5, 10, 15, 16, 17 fifths. Or we could think of it as 1, 2, 3, and 2 fifths. Couldn't we? Couldn't we? So then let's look at another one. Or let's just think of another one. We've done fifths. Let's do some quarters. Hmm. What about 14 quarters? So we've got one. How many quarters are in one? There are four. Well, we're up to four. If we have another four quarters, that's eight quarters. Another four quarters, that's 12 quarters. Oh, we're nearly there. We've got to get 14, haven't we? another two quarters and we're up to 14 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so we could think of that as 14 quarters or one two how many pizzas three pizzas three big pizzas and two quarters okay let's just do one more so we've done fifths we've done quarters let's do some thirds we don't want the thirds to feel we're neglecting them do we so, hmm, do, 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 do. what about, no, we don't do that one, 19 thirds. Let's do 19 thirds. So again, one, but we're going to have loads of pizza now. We're going to be thoroughly ill from pizza. Three, six, nine thirds, 12 thirds, 15 thirds, Oh my gosh, 18 thirds. So we're up to 18 thirds. We need one more, don't we? That's not very well drawn, but never mind. You get the idea. It's a thought that counts. So that's 19 thirds, or it's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one third. So I hope that has helped to understand mixed numbers and improper fractions and how to convert between them. I would definitely visualize them by drawing cookies, pizzas, etc., and then really um, use those diagrams to make sure you understand them. Once you do that, you can use other methods and things like that. And in the end, you won't need to do pictures of pizzas because you'll have the pictures of pizzas in your head like me. Have a lovely, lovely day. Thank you very much for listening.